Hello my soccer universe and see what I'm wearing. That's that kind of mood that I'm in. The 2002 Cameroon home jersey. It's in medium so it's a little bit tight but it actually looks better <laughs> these days on me than it would have uh, when it was a little bit looser. I put a t-shirt under to give you the, the really the 2002 World Cup view uh, of it. It's cold outside. Sleeveless is not a good idea so yeah that's how that goes. But yeah I absolutely love it. Look what I have here. New jerseys. I went to my local flea market page and yeah the packaging is uh, way bigger than what's in there. I uh, went to my local flea market page and got a few really really nice finds and unlike Christmas I actually want to start off with the biggest package I have always been told. So we have the scissors now here. Always start with the smallest one, the bigger one's the big surprise, but this time uh, it is the, uh, the big package actually contains a jersey that I've been, uh, how to say, I've been threatening to buy for quite a while. So let's start with that one. That big of a package for one jersey I find kind of, uh, how to say, overkill but hey it was free shipping so I don't flipping care <laughs> and maybe this is a box that we can reuse so uh, it's even in a bag you know which one this will be it's a Ukraine jersey and it's actually the 98-99 jersey uh, the funny thing is when I get those bought jerseys they all smell like a certain a detergent I'm not uh, really fond of. Uh, this here by the way is a crown, Ukrainian national symbol. Uh, I actually wanted to get a 2006 jersey with Shevchenko on it, although I don't like the jersey as much but I saw Ukraine playing that one against Spain at the World Cup. I was there. Um, but it's, you know, uh, two days before it was still available when I went by it was not but Honestly, I was happy because that meant I can get this one for 12 euros plus 3 euro sh shipping or something like that. Uh, it's new. Tag still attached. And my favorite part is that this jersey here, exactly new uh, classic football brochures, I saw for 120 pounds. So I got it for a lot cheaper. It's really nice. It has very interesting ventilation. So great New Jersey. I will sure make a video. You will see me wearing this quite a bit. I actually like this logo quite a lot, I have to say. So Ukraine was always one of my favorite Eastern European teams. I finally have a jersey uh, fully deserved. So and that's a vintage jersey. It makes it even better. And Shevchenko played in that one. Okay, let's go to the next one. A small one. That's actually one with two. Another find, 2 for 20. First of all, again, kind of uh, looking ahead to Euro um, 2020, although they're not yet qualified, but also one that I needed to have because I've been in that country and I don't have a jersey. The Czech Republic. Yes, it's rather plain. I really want to get one with the old crest. I have to say the 2006 World Cup jersey looks a little bit better and I might still get that one because I can find this for relatively, relatively cheap. But as a package deal this was really nice. Now they only use uh, this line. This is kind of, this line is the lesser crest of the Czech Republic. This one is the full crest and I have to say I like this one a lot better. And with the detailing on it, you know, those are a little bit raised, those are a little bit below and a little bit more shiny. Um, it is, I have a Bulgaria jersey from that, I have an Austria jersey from that. Uh, it's a really nice jersey. I think I like the overall look of it quite some. So that's a pretty one, I would say. Um, let's go one further. This one is not XXL, so a little bit large. But I saw that the seller with the Czech Republic jersey, he said um, he has this one too. I saw that and I said, well, if I can get two, two for one, I'll take this Czech jersey for now. And I'll look for the 2006 one a little bit later because I can get it in package deal with a Morocco jersey. And that's, of course, the 2010 jersey. They were not at the World Cup. But, you know, I love this um, 
I really l love this line with the strikeout and then the national symbol, which in this case is the interlocking pentagram, kind of. I also have to say I like my Morocco jerseys for some reason a little bit better in green than in red. I don't mind red, but I think this is it. When I look at it, it's basically the same thing as the Cameron jersey that I have, except that the cats are white instead of yellow. And you have the wonderful Moroccan crest. Morocco jerseys, the one that I really would like to have is the one from the 94 World Cup with the super-sized crest. But I think pretty awesome, great looking jersey. Again, more plain than anything, but I actually liked it. And I like that I have another one of the 2010 collection. It's the first one, not from a World Cup. I'm really looking for this. I should get the Ghana one too, because really, uh, let's face it, I need to have them all. I want to have an away jersey from, from, from there as well, which would be the Ghana jersey. I cannot get this. Now the last one, I'm already opening this one. This is the biggest one. This is not a national team jersey. This is... Let, let, let me see. The kids are going berserk over there. This is the true find. I saw this uh, in the summer for 40 years and Stella was dropping the spice for 40 years. It's potentially the oldest jersey that I now have in my collection. And it is special. Benfica 98, 9, 89, 89, no, 90, 89, 90. The one that they played the a European Cup final in, of course, without the FNAC sponsor, which actually makes it uh, even more special for me because FNAC is a uh, was the French bookstore that when we were in Paris, we all always wanted to go to. It has a hole here that's something that needs to be fixed. Mother, I hope you can do that for me. Um, it is clearly worn. I mean, there are some slight marks, but hey, Benfica crest, really plastic. I absolutely love this one. Um, the other thing that's maybe not perfect is there was some uh, lettering behind uh, 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 on on the back before. You see the seven. This is the style that they had, but then you see the black mark, black marks. Kind of. I don't know exactly what this should be. Uh, I would like the story behind that, but uh, even the seller could not tell me. He 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 said he got it and then he put his seven on top of it but honestly even the uh this is my first Hummel jersey so we have the chevrons here that is already great for me and what i really like is uh the lettering in there there's a really subtle i have to look at it, a really subtle pattern on there it looks just gorgeous it's gorgeous as i said it's not the prettiest jersey but it's absolutely it's not in the best condition but it's an absolute gorgeous jersey i'm very happy to have this one not that i'm a big benfica fan but now i want to have the milan jersey that was played in final that's a lot, lot tougher to get well those are my new jerseys for november let's see uh what will come next but i'm quite happy uh 20 bucks for the benfica jersey yes it's not in super condition but 20 bucks is still a Pretty good deal, I have to say. Those sell for crazy money, if you can find them. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!